How you doing, dude? Great. Well, your day is about to get a lot better. Okay. So. How fast and furious, Mercy Lago? Uh, better. Hmm. <laughs> you see it in the reflection, don't you? I do see it in the reflection. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> Turn around! Oh. <laughs> Welcome everyone to episode three of my Pimp My Ride van rebuild, proudly supported by Advanced Auto Parts. Now, if you don't know by now, this is my 1999 Dodge Caravan, and it was featured on Pimp My Ride. I got it in really bad shape, and over the last 24, oh, let's say 48 hours, we rebuilt it and it looks absolutely amazing. Now, usually in these builds, I take these cars to the track to see what they're made of. Unfortunately, this is a van, so vans don't usually do any track things, but what vans do is they do road trips very, very well. So I figured we should probably take it on a road trip, but not just any road trip because I wanna give this van to somebody very, very special because this, after all, is a Christmas episode and I'm in the holiday spirit. So I figured that a friend of mine needs this van more than I do and that friend is Tyler Hoover. Now, if you guys don't know him, he has a YouTube channel called Hoovy's Garage and he recently announced that he's having a baby. Well, he's not, his wife is having a baby. He's having a new addition to his family and he just bought a Ferrari. Ferraris aren't very good for kids but vans are, and this van is probably the best for kids because, well, just look at it. So I'm gonna surprise Tyler with this van. And to do that, we have to drive from here, which is central Florida, all the way to Kansas, which is, I actually have no idea how long that is. I think it's like a thousand miles, but hopefully we make it. And when I say we, I don't just mean me. I don't mean the royal we, I mean me and my friend Jared, who is standing in the sun. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. We have a few stops along the way. We have to go to Atlanta because Jared had to get some clothes because it's, uh, I, I, yeah. I think that it's cold in Kansas. Yeah, I'm guessing it's cold. We'll get uh, a jacket. <laughs> There's a blizzard warning. <laughs> There's a blizzard warning where we're going, but it's okay because we have all seasons on the van and uh, I think a blizzard is a season. So that's... That's how it works. Okay, uh, let's get on the road. So uh, we are at the side of the road. Who would have thought that this would happen? We are still dealing with the remnants of this thing sitting for so long because I believe it still has some bad gas in it or something wrong with the pickup because every time I go onto the highway, we were on the highway for a good few hours. Yeah, we, two and a half hours, it was perfect. But now it just started losing power and we thought it could be a fuel pump, but which it could still be. But the fact that like I started shaking the van. When this I, van's a rockin', keep on driving. Keep on driving. <laughs> so uh, I went off uh, onto this uh, shoulder right here, and now the van is a little bit tilted. The van it uh, it revs really cleanly. I actually had the sensible idea that we take the Lexus, get a gas can, and come back. And what did you say? I said we could just send it. So. I feel like if we're gonna go to a gas station, we could, we'll probably be closer to the gas station if we break down again. If you can see, there's a little bridge. Right, okay, so. That's where we'll be. Okay, all right, we'll see. Well, I have a little more faith in this car than Jared does because we are at the gas station. <laughs> Told you we'd make it. So I'm gonna fill this thing up and we're probably gonna put some fuel injector cleaner in there or something and uh, hopefully it runs a little bit better and maybe we can limp it to somewhere where we can actually do some work on the car.
Well, okay, uh, the van is on a lift because it needs a little bit of work. Now, we did drive it. We managed to drive it all the way to the Atlanta area, but the problem was every once in a while, it would just lose power, just no power at all. And I don't think it would have been very good for a trip to Kansas if the van didn't have any power. It's not exactly a fast car anyway. So we are at Controlled Motors in Alpharetta, Georgia, and Jared's friends, Brandon and Scooby, are gonna help out and uh, try to help us fix the van because I think it needs a new fuel pump. So they went to advance uh, and got a fuel pump for us while we were on the road. Yeah. And the reason we're thinking it's the fuel pump is as long as we stayed in the top third of the tank, like max 100 miles, it ran perfect. The moment it dropped a little down, start cutting out, we yeah. go fill it back up and it was perfect for the next 90 miles. So we think we're sucking air at the top. So we're gonna go ahead and fuel pump, fuel filter. Um, and then while we're doing that, Brandon is gonna go ahead and raid his exhaust metal and build us a little tip. Yeah, So we I, can... yeah, because th this doesn't look very good. Yeah. I think we can, uh, we can finish off this entire look and I have something special for here. But on the way here, I got a little bit of a gift. Uh, courtesy of the Atlanta road system. That is uh, what's known in the industry as a screw. A uh, screw went in and I came outside and the tire was flat, brand new tire, but that's okay. We are going to take that out. We're gonna put like a plug patch in it and it's gonna be okay. But the bulk of the work is gonna be right here. This is the fuel tank. What's easy about this or what's supposed to be easy about this is the fact that you can just undo two bolts right here and the whole thing is supposed to just pivot down uh, you can take this out and replace the fuel filter and fuel pump and everything is on a quick release. So theoretically, this shouldn't be too bad other than the fact that this is almost full of yeah. gas. Because otherwise we can't drive it. So otherwise we wouldn't be able to drive it. Normally you run it as low as you can before you pull a fuel tank, but we didn't have that option. Let's get to work. So this is the feed line. Right. And it was cracked. Okay. So, so was, I, was this like this? That that was from me bumping this and spilling it. So thankfully we didn't have a raw gas leak, but that was kind of sort of glued in place and sucking air. I also <laughs> like is the uh, customization screw that is almost screwed into the fuel tank there. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's normal. It's not a, not a big deal. All right, so new part, old part, and you can see like, here's how rusty the sending unit was. And how just completely worn out that deep groove and you compare it to the new. So that's why it would just randomly quit reading. And also uh, there's no pickup sock here. Yeah, that completely dissolved. Look how clogged that is. This rubber stop is just dissolved and gone. You come up here, this is the pressure regulator. That's all uh, rotten and it actually has a hole rusted in it. The fuel return had a crack in it. So that's why we had to key cycle it so many times. We were thinking we had a pump issue. We just weren't sure. Well, there was a pump issue, but also it was sucking up air. Yeah. You know, we did the smart thing. We just sent it and <laughs> Well, guess what? What are we doing on a Sunday? Yeah, well, we're, not, we're, we're changing what we thought was broken. That goes to show you just uh, if you think it needs changing, probably change it. How did this even it. run? Like, how did we get six, what, no, 490 miles, roughly? Yeah, there, there it is. Wow, there's more coming out. Oh, that's, it's just sludge. Ew, whoa. Look at, oh, look there's at, more. Look at what just came out. Wow, that should not be in a fuel pump. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay, well, I mean, now it's fixed. We can just put that one back in, right? Sure. So Jared took the fuel pump apart and this is uh, what we came up with. How, how did this even work, dude? Uh, hopes and dreams. Yeah, hopes I mean, and dreams. This is, wow. I mean, the, the fact that this actually got the engine running, I am very interested in seeing how this car runs because now well, it's I mean, good. It's going to be, it's going to be quick. This thing is going to be a little, little speed demon quick. I think you're being optimistic. This thing is going to be super fast. It's going to be like Lambo fast. Wait for it. 
It's got to get fuel pushed all the way to the front. Right, 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 right. Our temperature is uh, a little bit less than uh, half. Okay, that's enough to rev. I'm not gonna say better or worse, just yet. I'm gonna say better. Okay. That sounded that sounded great. So now turn it off and then turn it on. Let's wait. Now, if we waited about 10 seconds, we'd lose all our prime. Ooh, oh, perfect. I think everything's done. First time welding, uh, that was interesting. This looks like complete garbage, but it's, uh, you know, whatever. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta do a thing. I gotta slap it and say that ain't going nowhere. That ain't uh, going nowhere. He did this one off camera. I did not do that off camera. Well, okay. Now the van is done. It should be running a lot better. And if you take a look over here, we have a new addition to the exhaust. It's a little heart. Look at it. So this van originally, when it came from the show, had a hard exhaust and I got a little exhaust tip, but the guys over here did a fantastic job and I did a less than fantastic job <laughs> welding, but uh, now it has a nice little tailpipe section, but the guys are just amazing. Brandon and Scooby, what? Come on, come on. <laughs> Cheer up. I know you want to see the van. You guys have been amazing. So uh, yeah, definitely go check them out. Controlled Motors, they do amazing work. Thank you so much. Can't thank you enough. Hopefully this van is now ready for the road. What do you think? Oh, we're good. I love the there's your problem moment. Yeah. And hopefully that was our entire problem. Okay, now we are in Atlanta, and no Atlanta trip would be complete without visiting my friend, Ed Bullion, Mr. Vinwicky. And uh, I, I want him to look at our van because um, I think our van is kind of, it's special. Is that what you call it? This van is, is fa it is the most famous 1999 Dodge Caravan without, in the world. Without question. Would you like to see some of its features? Uh, does it have some quirks as well? It does have some quirks, but I think I'm gonna get demonetized if I use that too much. <laughs> <laughs> now, usually Dodge Caravans don't have any sort of doors that open automatically. However, this one. <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, wow, with the real exposed chain drive situation. Listen, the chain wow. drive is, that that's what makes thats what makes all this happen. If you look inside, just, oh. just take a look at this interior. We have the finest denim, okay? Mm. And if you look down here, you'll see some what looks like bath mats, but if you take them off, they reveal this amazing disco floor. Disco floor, that's right. That's, that's what it is. That is a jewelry making station. Not even a Maybach has that. Dude, if yeah. your ankles want to watch TV, Yes. That's that's what it's for. But wait, there's more. Oh, we have the heart-shaped exhaust. Heart-shaped. There's obviously a lot of heat coming out of this. Uh, what kind of motor does this thing have? A it's a 3.3 liter V6. Okay. Torque monster. Torque monster. It makes up to and including 200 foot-pounds of torque. Up to. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So this is a speed demon. So if we open this up, look at that. What? We have four more screens back here. We have two 10-inch subwoofers, the screens, amps. This is so 2002, it hurts. Oh Look yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. Dang it. So, does it only play Mr. Rogers? Uh, that is the only DVD we could find. So when you drive this there, you need to drive in such a fashion, like I might, that you, sh you should expect to be pulled over. Mm -hmm. uh, just so that you can, in the same way that the doctor emerged from the van in Cannonball Run with the meat baster syringe in hand, like you should be like, here to explain why mm -hmm. this has happened. Okay, officer, uh, how much time you got? There's been a lot of impressive cars in this driveway, but I, I don't think any no. quite as impressive as this. That's right. Uh, and what? yesterday it was a red car GT. So, yeah. uh, I mean, you know. well, this is hashtag provenance, okay? You can't mm -hmm. buy this anywhere. Oh, no. Except well, Craigslist. Well, thank you very much, Ed. It was a, it was a pleasure. Now, we got to get on the road.
indeed. It is very cold. We had an overnight stop in Nevada, Missouri. We're about three hours away from Tyler, but I'm super, super excited because this is a home stretch before he sees this van. You can see that there's already frost on it. I left it in the sun so it could get some of this off, but man, I'm, I really, really want him to see it. Hopefully he likes it. And if he doesn't, then, uh, you know, it's a thought that counts. Okay, this kind of tops the list for things I didn't think I'd be doing in December, but it's been kind of an unusual week. So we are right in front of Tyler's house. I told him not to come outside unless I rang his doorbell and uh, we'll see what he says. We'll see what he says. <laughs> I also have a little gift for him. He left his jacket last time he was at my shop. So I figured since I got him a gift, might as well bring him a bigger gift. Find him! Get him! Get him! Oh, hey! How are you? Who are you? I am Santa Varsh. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> That's quite a look there. Yeah. Welcome to snowy Kansas, kind of the North Pole. I well, think uh, Frank likes. Oh, <laughs> I think beard. Frank's a little scared. <laughs> he <has> a little... <laughs> He's a little excited. Have you been a good boy this year? Uh, kind of. Here. This is yours. Oh, my leather jacket. Yes, yes, yes. Very much needed. Yes. Yes. It's very slimming on me. Well, that's not the reason I came. Oh. So you should probably come outside. Okay. What do you think it is? Honestly, I have no idea. You know my tastes. Right. So I assume you got something that I would like or you're just punking me right now. Um, well, I don't know. Punking I'm, I'm... you would be actually uh, in, in the theme of this thing. It would definitely be in that theme. And you'll see why in a second. Can you just uh, just stand right here? How you doing, dude? Great. Well, your day is about to get a lot better. Okay. So. A fast and furious Mercy Lago. Uh, better. Hmm. <laughs> you see it in the reflection, don't you? I do see it in the reflection. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Turn around. Oh. <laughs> Oh Woo! My. <laughs> oh my. Uh, so, is... do you love it? That is a Dodge Caravan. Not right. only a Dodge Caravan, but a Dodge Caravan that was on Pimp, Pimp My, my Ride. Ride. That's right. Yes. Yes. I recall. So, this was completely restored by me and Mr. Pink. I'm going to get this beard off because... Yeah, that's hard to off. So, this is... Uh, yeah, West Coast Customs finest. Actually, this is gas. This, oh, this is, is gas. It, okay. This is season six of season Pimp My Ride. Six. So Exhibit wasn't around anymore. Exhibit was around. Oh, yes, he was. this oh. is the last season. Well, no. you know, I'm expecting a child. Right. So that's what I figured. You are expecting a child, <laughs> uh, yes. and you need a practical car. <laughs> yes. Uh, so uh, I figured we can get you the most practical car of them all. This is a motorized they didn't have motorization back then yes okay look at that bicycle chain or whatever they're using there oh yeah wow. yeah yeah, yeah. Keep that... your fingers clear huh oh, keep... oh yeah just... don't, don't put your fingers oh there. yeah just keep your fingers yeah clear. so if you look back here you'll see the wraparound couch that's uh adorned in denim now we have our show feature on yes look at that oh oh my oh my oh my so we have a triple flip down monitor oh my if you look up up top you have a laser light show Oh my. And and a bong? And underneath, underneath these bath floor mats is oh. a a nice little uh well, let's see. Well, it's kind of hard to see in the daytime. Yeah. It's right. a it's a disco yeah. floor. Yeah, so you can have different uh, different lighting and yeah, it, it lights up neon pretty well. Yeah. Now, this is your uh, your footrest, but it has another party piece. 
So it does that. It gets aroused. Yes, but it, but it's also a monitor. Look at that. Uh, it, 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 a monitor there. for who? For your ankles. <laughs> okay. It's for your ankles. All right. And what's up with the the love beads there? Uh, that's a jewelry making station. Yes. I, okay, I you remember have, that. Yes, because that was that was her shape. job or something like it. Or her something hobby. like that. Yeah. Yes. Oh. We Lord. have four more monitors. This is your hater vision back here. Oh my lord. And uh, you're spreading love all around. A heart-shaped so heart exhaust, exhaust yes. tip. Yes. Really? <laughs> really? It's, it's lovely. Yes. You know, I'm having a boy, yes. but my daughter was begging for a pink car. So. Well, here you go. When we pick her up from school, yes. she is going to flip. <laughs> flip. So of all the vehicles you thought you were getting, and brainstorming. Was this in your top five? Oh, I honestly <laughs> think that I honestly thought you found my old Buick or something or one of my old oh, cars. Oh no, like, no, no, no! That's like a thing. practical gift. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't expect something as useful and lovely as exactly as, as this character. That is correct. So we have this little pimp my ride uh, keychain. Are you gonna? You've officially been pimped. You read about how the quality of the work is kind of iffy in some places, but you can tell. They... So we had to fix a lot. Oh, I see. <laughs> we had to fix quite a bit, but uh, everything has been gone over. It is mechanically 100% sorted. Uh, new tires, brakes, all that stuff. And uh, oh, oh, also all the body work, because this was all disgusting and, and broken. You so, repainted it? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the body <laughs> kit. The body so you had to repimp it? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. So I figure uh, we could probably take this to the wizards. I want him to see it. And uh, I want to see what this would cost if I took it to a shop, because that's going to be a very big number. Of course. All right. First acceleration run. Yeah. Shift. There we there go. We go. <laughs> It ain't bad, it really isn't. You just have to get used to the uh, massive blind spot behind you. Exactly. Like whenever I want to pass, I'm looking at Mr. Rogers on TV <laughs> instead of my blind spot. But it does have Z-rated tires. So if you want it to go on the Autobahn, this is the van to do it in. Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to 10, how good is this? 11. <laughs> All right, it's a little icy, so don't, 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 <laughs> don't, sl slam don't in slide into his door here. <laughs> oh, it's the wizard shop. Yes, wizard. So I know you're working on this thing, but I brought you something a little bit nicer. I wouldn't call that nicer. How dare you? This was on Pimp My Ride. So you want to be a player, but your ride ain't fly? <laughs> Step on up and Pimp My Ride. Is that how it goes? Something like that, yeah. Pimp My Ride, man. Yes, the real deal. Wow. So this is Tyler's Christmas present. I'd like, if you have a few minutes, we have redone everything on this van and you as a professional automotive technician uh you would, as a total amateur me as a, as a right? as a complete amateur i want to see how much money we actually saved by doing the work ourselves okay so i have i have a list of everything uh we did just you know give us a ballpark of what this would cost if this came to your shop in the condition that we originally got it in Okay. So let us start with uh, water pump, thermostat, coolant hoses, coolant, radiator fans, radiator fans, relay, heater core hoses, alternator, power steering pump, serpentine belt tensioner, and idler, and the belt. It's smiling at me. It is smiling at you. Look at it. Aww. <laughs> Uh, we have a valve cover gasket, intake manifold gasket, upper, EGR gasket, spark plug wires and plugs. This is unusual. A list that you're not going to be paying There's for. There's no pressure. You don't have to pay this for this. This is great. Just Look at this. Done. Oh, just, yeah. just cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Air filter, wiper blades, oil change, the whole fuel pump assembly. Two batteries. There's one in the front and one in the back. Headlight restoration and a front motor mount. Our front calipers, pads, fluid flush. The rotors? Rotors, yes. Yeah. Shoes, drums, and wheel cylinders. Is that all? And the hardware kit for the rear. And the hardware kit, yeah. All right. All right, so, so let's uh, let's see how much money we potentially could save. Okay, so uh, you have returned and you have some prices for us. I do. So let's, yeah. let's, let's go. You don't have to yeah. pay this, yeah, it's okay. You're, you're safe from this one. <laughs> the grand total, $2,053 before tax. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. You yeah. don't have to. <laughs> We've already taken care of it. That just goes to show you that this van wasn't really hard to work on, and we saved thousands, literally thousands of dollars by, by doing this ourselves. There is stuff that 
you probably shouldn't do on your own unless you have the correct equipment like AC stuff and yeah. electrical. And if you're not very good at that or if you're not comfortable, then you should definitely take it to a professional. But stuff like the valve covers and seals, that sort of thing, you can definitely tackle at home. So Unless you're a moron like me. No, even Dude. you can do it. Dude, are you happy? Do you I like this? It. I'm so happy. It is a really cool I van. I cannot wait to pick my daughter up from school in this thing. It's yes. going to be yes. epic. I'm going to load up the DVDs of, of My Little Pony or something <laughs> and just blast it. All right, so that's going to be it for this Christmas episode on my channel. I'd like to thank Jared. Let me uh, turn this around. You are the MVP, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. Am I always the MVP? You are always the MVP. Because that, like, makes it not as special to always be. You always... The wizard's the MVP for taking the time to do an estimate when he won't get paid. Yes. The wizard, yes. Yeah. You are the MVP. And uh, if anybody wants really good work in the Kansas area, then definitely go to Omega Auto Clinic. And uh, also... Uh, oh, oh, Tyler. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I can feel the bro. It's lovely. No problem. It's lovely. <laughs> It's lovely. Can I kiss the ring of Mr. Pink here? Oh, yeah. These gifted hands here. <laughs> These gifted hands. Wow. They're much softer than I thought. Wow. All right. Well, wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. So until next time, this is me reminding you guys that on vans like this, you guys should definitely build it better. And to do that, you need to wrench every day.